Welcome to GMAC Golf. I hope you're all well. You're tuned in for another episode of A Golfer's Ramblings. Now, excuse the state of me, just back from the gym, or just on the way home from the gym. Um, and yeah, this one today is about my putting. And it is going to be a ramble as such, because let me tell you where my head's at. I posted a video a little while ago of obviously me on the, the longest hole in the UK. I'll stick the link here. Or here the end of that hole or the end of that hole yeah I had a three put and it's from around 60 70 feet it's a long three foot three put as a three put you take it and it's really got into my head I have been seriously seriously struggling with my putting since then um, like it's completely bothered me I swapped my putters I swapped my ball yeah it's it's really, really getting in my head. It's not the yips, I haven't got the yips. I still can get to that and I can still make the stroke on the ball, but yeah, I, yeah, it's just not, not going great at the minute. Um, and I don't know how to get out of the putting slump. It isn't the putter, 100% is not the putter, because I was putting great with the putter, and then all of a sudden I'm heads up my backside with the putter. Um, so yeah, I mean, a lot of people have said, oh, just get a putting lesson or do the drills that you, you've posted about. Obviously, I'll put a few, few drills regarding putting on here. Um, and I do my putting drills. And when I'm on the practice green and when I'm putting on the carpet, I'm boxing everything. You know, everything that should be going in is going in. Or I'm leaving it close for a tap in too. But get on the golf course, my wheels fall off. Like completely head goes, stand over a putt, can't read the line, I can't read the pace, I don't know where the ball's going to go. And I don't know how to stop it. Do any of you have this problem? Do any of you know how to stop this problem? If you do, please stick the comments down below. Drop me a DM. Help me out. Because um, I genuinely don't know. It's, it isn't my putting stroke or strike because they're good and they're consistent when I'm on the practice green. And is this, it's not the yips, because I don't I don't jerk, I don't get nervous when I'm about to pull the trigger. I can look, I can't read the line, I'll address the ball and I'll pull the trigger. And the strike's good. And the strike, it rolls on the line that I'm on. But I can't get the pace, I'm leaving a lot short. I've just got zero confidence on the greens. Now, Parks back to a little while ago, I was talking to, to Lee around putting and putters and, and so on. So, did a little bit of work with Lee and now he's putting, he's, he's, it's fire, he's putting so well at the minute, even though he's got the wrong putter for him. So we did a little, Lee technically should have a toe flow putter because he puts with an arc. He uses a face balance putter. I use the opposite. I use a, face, a toe flow and I should be using a face balance. So ultimately we're using each other's putter. But that's by the bottom. So he's done a lot of work on his putting. Um, he's changed his stroke a little bit, changed his address. His routine's changed a little bit and he's putting really, really well. I know what I'm talking about. But I can't seem to put that into practice for myself. And it's frustrating me. Now, I know I'm using the wrong putter. I know, as, as I've just said, I know I should be using a face balance putter. Do I think if I put a face balance putter in my hand, I'm going to reap all that confidence? Yeah, for maybe five rounds. And then, and then what? Is the confidence going to stay? Or am I just going to come back to where I'm at today? Zero confidence. And I know it's from a three put that couldn't be helped. Well, it, couldn't be helped. It's an acceptable free put if you if you have a look at the video. You know, I should have hit a lob wedge from where I was hitting a putter, that's how far it was. And then I think to myself, it's not it, I'm just in a predicament and I don't know what to do. So this is a this is a cry for help, guys. Help me with my mental state on my putting. What do I do? Like I genuinely I'm struggling. <laughs> you know, I've looked at I've looked at me and my golf put a tweet out 
what part of the game are you struggling with at the minute? And I put my put in, and they put me onto a link, which is their putting drills. They're like um, their um, putting series, if you like. And everything in there, I already do the drills. Yeah. And like I say, when I'm drilling, when I'm practicing, my putting's great. It's how it always has been. Put me on that first green. I don't know where I'm going with it. Not literally. And it's getting me down. Probably part of the reason I'm not putting a video out for a little while as well. Um, because it's really bugging me. Really bugging me. So that's where I'm at with my putting, guys. The strongest part of my game has by far become the weakest. And I did have a round. I had a round the other day. And I shot, I can't remember what I shot, 78, 79. Maybe a little bit lower. I never had a three put. And this is with the change putter. So I've got a tailor-made spider tour black, which is my putter, that's my baby. That's what that's what stays in the bag. And I've also got a Cleveland Classic. It's like a, the best way I describe it is like a Newport, a Scotty Cameron Newport 1.5, not the 2.5. So it's got the curved neck and it's softer lines at the back. Love the look of the, love the look of the putter. And I can put with it. I hate it. I can't stand the sound, I can't stand the feel. When it's in my hands and I strike the ball, I don't like where it, I don't feel as if I know where it's gonna go. Finds the hole, but I hate it. So I just, yeah, I don't know what to do. But I'm in such a predicament with my putting. Now I know it's pretty much the end of the season and we're not gonna get a great deal of golf in moving forward, so I've got plenty of time to work on it, but I didn't want to end the season on this point when I come to do my season wrap up, you'll see that putting is one of my goals. I wanted to get it real low, um, especially going into my new series as well with chasing, chasing Cat One. Putting's key, and I've got to get it boxed off. I've got to get my head right with my putting. Um, and as it stands, like I say, I've said numerous times that I really don't know how, guys. So if you know of any ways I can sort my head out with my putting, please, like I said before, comment down below, drop me a DM. Sorry it has been a ramble waffle today. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I wanted you guys to know where I'm at with my head and my putting. And uh, it, like I say, it's part of the reason I've not put anything out with them in it. Um, because I can do a how low can I go. I can get on the green. And okay, if I'm having a bad putting day, I'll, I ain't got an issue with that. I'll put it on, two over three or four or whatever. But the fact that I'm not necessarily, I, I literally have no confidence with the putter and I don't know where it's gonna go. I don't wanna put that on video. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of them. And I do put, before you guys out there saying, oh, you only post your good stuff, look at my, go through my how low can you go, because bad rounds is good rounds. I'll post good and bad. Um, but at the minute, when my putting's the way it is, nah, ain't happening. I'm doing it. Not until I'm in a, a little bit, a, a little bit of a better place. So, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around and waiting for my, uh, my video. It's been, like I say, it's been a little minute since I put one out. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you can help me out. Um, and I'll share the love and if it, if it helps I will uh, share those tips thank you guys and I will see you all soon take care